you lift weights, you get big, and then you can get a cool car, and then you can fuck chicks. He said that that's what he did, that he used to be skinny, but then he started to lift weights, and after a few months, he was big. Then he got himself a Ford Mustang, and now he fucks chicks. And then he went over it again. He told me that I should lift, get big, get a cool car, and fuck chicks. And then he said not to worry about it, that I was going to be all right. Uh, Lev, I'm an animator and cartoonist. I was thinking about doing the dishes first, but then decided that that actually doesn't make any sense because the laundry is right around the corner and it would be much more time effective to go put in the laundry first and then come back here to do the dishes and then pay the bills, clean the shower, dump the garbage, call my mom, and then find something interesting to do tonight. But then I started to think about it, and as I haven't taken a shower yet and I don't really smell too good, I figured I may as well clean the shower while I'm in it, and then I'll go put in the laundry, come back here to do the dishes, pay the bills, dump the garbage, call my mom, and then find something interesting to do tonight. It started in different ways. I mean, I think I started doing the videos, actually, before I started, before the comics. And uh, then I, I kind of considered what really started coming together was when I put the two of those together. And that was around in 2000. Three. That's uh, when I when I started putting the, both the comics, doing the comics as well as the animation. So it was around something like that. But I mean, I had been doing other kinds of um, short film work before that. When I was about 15, some other kids at school would tease me and say, You're gay, man. You are so fucking gay. I didn't know if I was gay or not, and I wanted to find out. So I stole a big pickle from the delicatessen and walked home in the snow to do an experiment. But it wasn't really, it did not start as a wanting to be creative, make money, blah, 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 blah. It was much more because I think that. Um, uh, the first few episodes that I did, I, I really kind of did them for myself. I wasn't even sure what I was going to do with them. I know, Mom, but I don't really worry about that because I don't eat fish. And she said, but getting high mercury levels is really rare. In general, all the healthiest cultures in the world eat a lot of fish. And I said, I know, Mom. And she said, have you ever been tested for mercury? And I said, I haven't been worrying about it, Mom, because I don't eat fish. You know that feeling that you get when you're talking to a friend of yours and you're, um... You might have been just sitting there and like, you know, just going like a gab and on and on and on. You maybe you just like you talk to their ear off, just talking like crazy, and then you walk away from the table and you feel like you just didn't say a damn thing that was really on your mind. It was almost like that uh, that I felt like I had to uh, I just needed another outlet actually to communicate, I think, because uh, that uh, usually felt uh, that I never really found that many people that I think I really related to all that well. And so it was just this was really a outlet just for, just for expression. When a 39-year-old person is riding the bus and a pack of loud, obnoxious 16-year-old kids get on, the 39-year-old person can easily become nervous as the kids remind him of the bullies he used to see in his high school lunchroom. He will often spend the rest of the bus journey picturing the kids 25 years from now, working in dead-end jobs, having totally wasted their lives. Whether he admits it or not, a 49-year-old man can still be traumatized by when he got his shorts pulled down in gym class when he was 10. I don't want to talk about the technique, but I mean, I will, like, that, uh, that the actual process of, of writing it is the thing that takes all the time anyway. Oh, really? And uh, that this is, uh, this is something actually a lot of people think is, this thing is funny whenever I tell it to them, but um, I, I write, uh, if you look at the book, at the, at the, if you look at the book in here, like, actually, the, um, the intro, it's, um, where is the... Here. It is actually like that. You can close up on this. It's written in typewriter, mm -hmm. and I do actually write on a typewriter. And it's not just because like, you know that uh, that I want to be like you know, that uh, uh, hipster retro goof. There's a very very good reason for it because like that if I'm if I'm writing on a word processor, I'll kind of like I'll write something and then I'll go back and I'll correct a little bit of grammar and then I'll go and like that and I'll go and see if I got a new email and then I'll go and check to see like you know that how. Uh, uh, I'll go and look for something weird on eBay or whatever, and I'll never really finish it. But writing on a, ty a typewriter only does one fucking thing. <laughs> and so, <laughs> so when like when the keys are not hitting, you know that you're that you're just that you're fucking off for a minute. And so that uh, that uh, that that's a that that's a lot of part. Then I'll I'll take that, and then I'll just kind of I'll wander around in my pocket for for a while, and then I'll just add bits to it. And then by the time I actually like change, uh, I put it into the uh, to do the editing. By the time that I actually can feed it into the uh, you know, type it out in the word processor, like that, uh, just the act of doing that, I've got the first draft already. It's like it's gone from 
the idea is staged in the first draft. The heart will want to serenade under her window with a ukulele. The mind will say that it's too early to tell if she will make a good mate. The heart will dream that one day soon he will embrace her in his arms. The mind will say that it could be a mistake to be too sexually assertive too early. But what would penis do? Penis will start yelling his brains out in an effort to drown out the advice of heart and mind. Penis will then say that if tomorrow you get hit by a car or get eaten by a shark or a nuclear bomb blows up the world, this could be your last chance to have sex for the rest of your life. Penis will say that if you mess up the prospect of a relationship by sleeping together too early, then the relationship wasn't really meant to be anyway. Penis will then settle into chanting, Me Tarzan, me want to bring Jane to Treehouse. I think one of the funny things is just like that, uh, that I mean, I've been doing it on the web for a while, but, uh, but uh, now look, that I've, I've, got, I've made more friends who actually do work in, work in television, and it was interesting how that just kind of like that when you started doing stuff online on, on the web and having that being your primary, your primary thing, that, uh, that people are just kind of like, oh yeah, that, I mean, like, there's this, this uh, you do this thing on the web, but it's not on TV. I mean, like, that would be good if you were just on TV. Mm -hmm. And then more and more, just like, yeah, the web presence is kind of like okay and blah, blah, blah. But, but it's almost evolved to the point of just like, it's not on TV, who gives a shit? <laughs> 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 and, and I think that that's, that has been a very, that's been a sort of steady evolution. And it's, I think it's finally flipped. I'm not sure if I'd want that, though, because if I happen to become some sort of a boss, even though it might be kind of fun to feel important and call all the shots and be in charge of people and everything, I don't think I'd enjoy knowing that my employees were only listening to me and being nice to me and laughing at all of my shitty jokes because they were afraid of getting fired or trying to advance themselves, and in reality, they probably all hated my guts. But when I think about it, power just isn't that important to me. 